What's going on people, welcome back to my personal channel, welcome back to another video. Now, I hope you guys are excited as I am today after three months of watching endless football replays, begging for the football to be back. Premier League football is finally back, it is Manchester City versus Arsenal, which I think is the first game that is going to be back on TV for us. Chelsea won't be back on football until Sunday when we play, play Aston Villa away at Villa Park. I was looking forward to that match three months ago, it was, my, it was meant to be our first game going back to Villa Park as well, but at least the football is going to be back, so I'm not going to complain. And for Chelsea, we're looking to consolidate our place in the top four. We've got pressure coming at us from all areas, we've got Manchester United creeping up on us, Sheffield United and Wolves also in the distance, and Tottenham and Arsenal also further behind looking for any potential slip-ups to try and capitalise on. And for Frank Lampard, he might be finding himself with another potential selection headache over the remaining final games in the season. And the problem is regarding contract disputes. And Willian and Pedro, two players that we already know are on their last year of their contract, look to be leaving before the season ends on the 30th of June. Now, like I said, both Petra and William are on their last remaining weeks of their contract and neither player has signed a contract extension yet to try and play the remaining few games of the season. And the way their contracts are uh, stated right now and the way everything is going, within two weeks' time they won't be Chelsea players anymore and they will be missing the remaining six or seven games this season. Now, due to the pandemic, loads of Premier League sides had complications with players who were on their last year of contract. And this is mainly due to the uncertainty of when the league would return. The worry, which is now the reality of whether player contracts would actually last longer than the Premier League season was intended to start to finish for. And the situation that this would create within player contracts and the situation that it would create for the transfer window. Now, for some players like Olivier Giroud, they've seen this and they've decided to use this time to sign a contract for another season. For some players like David Silva, who are already on their way out, they have signed contract extensions that have allowed them to play the remaining last few games of the season, allowed them to get all the games out of their system and then leave their club. But for some players like, you can use Ryan Fraser as an example because Ryan Fraser's only just announced this as well. He hasn't he has rejected his short-term contract extension that was offered to him by Bournemouth. And the way it's going for him is that he's also going to be leaving as well at the end of the month. Now, William and Pedro's situation is very similar to Ryan Fraser's. Both players know that they ain't going to be staying at their club past this season. Both players are not being actively pursued by their club. Chelsea more or less know that Pedro's out of the door and we've known this for the majority of this season. William and Chelsea looked more lenient. They were both talking about contract terms, but neither club could agree on those contract terms. Uh, I think William wanted a three-year deal, whereas Chelsea were only willing and willing to give him up to a two-year deal, and this just ended at a stalemate from there. The Premier League has given all Premier League clubs a deadline of June the 23rd to make sure any players that are contracted to leave at the end of the month sign a contract extension. So for Frank Lampard, he's got about five days to try and get Pedro and William to sign another contract. It's understandable why both wouldn't do it. Both players are on the wrong side of 30. Both players are looking at that next contract as potentially their last big payday. And the last thing that either player wants is a potential big injury that could occur in any of these matches to throw away any chances of a big money contract that they could be looking at from other clubs. For Chelsea as well though, and I'll be real, I'm gonna sound like such a hypocrite saying this, but it is what it is and it's true. This is a huge blow to our top four hopes and I know I've said so many times we have the two oldest wingers in the league and one of our aims to progress the club is to get rid of the two oldest wingers in the league. This pandemic has thrown everything on its head and in my opinion this mindset is also one of those. Both players are aging but both players still have roles to play in this team. Both players more or less occupy the same position on the field. Either they're not even the fact that they're both wingers but they both prefer playing at right wing as well and I also think that with the injury situation that we've had throughout this entire season add to the fact that all the players are now not match fit because they spent about two three months on lockdown add to the fact that we're going to be playing basically every three to four days while we rush to try and finish this season rotation is more necessary than it ever has been and i think getting rid of two wingers not even just one two wingers could be a huge blow to us in that position i do understand that lampard has created contingency plans and he has assessed this as 
this situation he knew was coming and he's got a plan B, plan C already written out for it. Ruben Loftus-Cheek has already been tested in a wide role in recent friendlies against QPR and Reading. I know Christian Pulisic and Callum Hudson-Odoi are both also coming back from injury which is going to be a key boost to this team. That's, that's basically both positions sorted out and the whole reason why William and Pedro were even playing so much was because both of these players were out injured anyway or it was just for a case of experience. So that's already three options that we could potentially be playing on the wings. Me personally, I think Mason Mount can also pull a shift at right wing if per if needed. And even Rhys James, I think Rhys James, he obviously is a right back, but one of his key strengths is his ability going forward, his crossing, his dribbling. And I think you can utilize that in a right wing position. He's got all the qualities of a right winger. That's why he's such a well-rounded right back. So why don't you use it to your advantage and put him a bit further forward? If it means we've got a player as Pilaquator on the right, maybe it means we have to play as Pilaquator on the right, but it is what it is. I do think it's going to be a little bit of a blow because regardless, we, we know we're going to get more injuries. We've spent the whole season struggling with injuries and if you think that with that, us playing three to four days, we aren't going to get any in, any more injuries, you're deluded. It all depends on the way we manage the next couple games. It all depends, we basically just need to pray and hope that we don't get any injuries and try and move from there. Other than that, it all depends. I mean, the top four hopes are all in our hands. We are the ones in top four. We are still three points away from our closest rivals, which means that that it is all still in our hands and we're in we're in control of our own destiny. But I'm not gonna lie, this I think is the first time we'd be going into a season with a fully fit squad and we're gonna end up losing two wingers. It does feel like a little bit of a bummer, but we've had challenges throughout this entire season. If we have to face another challenge, then so be it. Guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know if you agree or disagree with any of the comments that I've made. Don't forget to check out my personal channel, Carefree Lewis G. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out Blues Fans TV as well, where I should be doing watch alongs for every home and away match for the remainder of the Premier League season. I'm going to try and get them streamed onto my personal channel as well. Let me know what more content you guys want to see on this channel because I'm going to start putting more videos out. I know I've said, said this so many times, but I'm actually going to start doing it. Just take my word for it and nothing else. Yeah, this is the end of the video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and we'll see you guys very, very soon. Take care. Up the trails.